Here's a tough one to come by. This is a 2022 Ford Super Duty F550. 145 inch wheelbase dually with the Rugby Eliminator nine foot dump body on it. These sides are 12 gauge steel, 17 inch high, 23 inch tailgate with 10 gauge steel floor in it. Got the cab shield, big cotton nettle, 225 70R 19 and a half inch tires. Mud flaps. Out back, you got a, a 16,000 pound hitch receiver with big tow hooks on it. Platform running boards. Telescoping mirrors. They're power glass, but the telescoping is manual. And they're heated as well. Up front, you got tow hooks up front. Let me show you inside. This is the medium earth gray vinyl interior, which is really easy to clean. Vinyl floors. <laughs> Someone needs to clean these ones, but they just wipe out and don't have to worry about vacuuming them. So you got a center console here, storage and cup holders, but then this lifts up. So it's actually three seater capacity. Underneath the center seat, you have more storage. You have trailer brakes. This is a four wheel drive model. 6.7 liter power stroke with the 10R80, 10 speed transmission. Besides being four wheel drive, you also have different drive modes. Let me figure out how to get to them. Oh, here. Drive mode normal, tow haul mode, eco mode, slippery, deep snow and sand. You got a backup camera, dual glove boxes, the top one you don't have to worry about opening, you can put your stuff you use regularly in there. You got USB hookups down here, put the regular auxiliary port here. There's a cubby at the bottom, I've been using that for the dump body control, so that was a perfect place to put that. But they also make uh, little brackets you can install if you want to, we just don't put them in because it's a brand new truck, you don't want to... You know, drill into the dash where somebody doesn't want it. One of the great things about going with a 550 versus a smaller 350 is the turning radius. Um, they have different front suspension. There's a bunch of different things. I mean, obviously, it's a lot heavier truck. But one of the big differences is the front suspension and the steering components. Let me show you this. So look at this area. This is a relatively tight area. I could turn this around. I'm going to pull real close. I can cut a real sharp circle here. This turning radius is comparable to a Jeep Wrangler. It's within a foot of a Jeep Wrangler. Because these wheels turn like damn near a 90 degree angle. It's actually a four foot tighter turning radius than even the half ton Silverado. Which blows my mind for such a big truck. Um, another cool thing about this one is it has the upfitter switch option. So... You know, whether you know, this has the snowplow prep package, so you may want to run you know, solder or beacon light. You can hook that up without having to splice wires. Um, you know, a lot of people like running the uh, wiper, the heater, heated wiper kit, which you know is awesome if you're doing a lot of plowing, run other cab lights, maybe an air horn, whatever you want. But having that there prevents having to splice things, which you really never want to have to do if you can avoid it. So right now these heavy duty trucks are really tough to get in general, but they're especially tough to get with dump bodies. People who are ordering these are waiting, geez, probably a year at least by the time the truck is built, sent to an outfitter and has the dump body put on. You're looking at a minimum of a year. 
Um, so the only reason we have this one is because <clears throat> a customer ordered six of them. I think it was six, might have been more. But in either case, he didn't take all of them, so we actually have two of them here available. So if you're looking for a dump truck with the diesel, this is the way to go, man. This truck's ready to go, brand new. Give me a call.